All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 9 to the power of x. So now this results in 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now 9 to the power of x and 9 to the power of x cancel out. So I get 1 plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 15 over 9 to the power of x. And 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 25 over 9 to the power of x. And now, 15 over 9 simplifies to 5 over 3. And 25 over 9, that simplifies to 5 squared over 3 squared. So now 5 squared over 3 squared, that's going to equal 5 over 3 squared. Now I have this to the power of x. Now if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 5 over 3 squared to the power of x, that's the same thing as 5 over 3 to the power of x squared. Now I'm going to let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y and 1 on both sides, I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So I get a quadratic equation, and to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. This is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, which is plus 4, all over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now remember how we let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 5 over 3 to the power of x equals to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this gives me two equations. I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So 5 over 3 to the power of x equals 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And a negative number divided by 2 is still a negative number. And notice how we have a positive number to the power of another number here. And you, ta you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to negative. So there is no solution for this. Now, for 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 3.
Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. So, I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So make sure to stick around for the video to see me solve both methods. So for my first method, method 1, I'm going to write my problem right here. 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of x plus 7, I can write that as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 7. And now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So then, these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now, from here, an important property of the exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 5. And another property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. So 2 over 5 to the power of x. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of 7. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, and I have log 5 to the power of 7, so I can move 7 to the front. So I get x times log 2 over 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now from here, we obviously want to find the value of x, so to do that, we have to get rid of log 2 over 5 by dividing both sides by log 2 over 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 over 5. And we have our answer here. This is our solution, but there is a way to simplify it more. So first off, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 2 over 5, that's going to equal... log 2 minus log 5. And now from here, I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 7 times log 5 over log 5. And these two cancel out, so I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus 7. And this is the same thing as 7 of log base 2 of 5 minus 7. Now for method 2.
what I can do is my equation was 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now I'm going to just start by taking log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now using that property, I get x times log 2 is equal to x plus 7 times log 5. And now if I distribute the log 5, I get x times log 2 is equal to x times log 5 plus 7 times log 5. Now if I subtract x times log 5 on both sides, these two cancel out and I get x times log 2 minus x times log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now I can factor out x, so I get x times log 2 minus log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. And divide log 2 minus log 5 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5, <coughs> which again simplifies to this. So x equals 7 times log base 2 of 5 minus 7 is my answer.